I haven't been into work in days again because of this whole walking issue. Now it's going up into my back and today's my first day back in quite a few days like I said so I have to look forward to a 12 hour shift. Now I already have pain before I even get to work. Maybe this vlog might just turn into a documentation of the progression of my pain. Which it may not be bad at all. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be. So, but I can tell you for right now, what I'm feeling already is just pain right in here. And it feels like this, this whole area here always feels like it's like jumbled up into a big knot of pain. <laughs> I'm going to some 7 and okay. Doable pain because I'm just used to it. But where it hurts, for now, just to keep you posted, is when I go to step on the tops of my feet and put pressure down. Or if anything hits, especially this leg, if anything hits it, it just, the pain goes to a 10. So. This is how I feel when I leave work. I feel like I look like this. I don't look happy. Mm-mm. Clock in the morning. I'm just gonna lay down now. The trick is to get up. When I go to get up, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> So, hopefully I'll have some relief. Even if you prescribe something for anti-inflammatory, I just need something to get me through my days. Because as it is now, I'm getting less and less that I can do without having to pay the price of being in bed and being in pain. So, I just went over things with the medical assistant and she said my sed rate is very high, which nobody ever told me. But that would explain a lot about why I'm in so much pain. I'm sure there's more to this, but just for now, let's see what the doctor says. The doctor put me on gabapentin, which was for the pain, I think, which is fine and good. And then they also gave me um, like 50,000 units of vitamin D. And they did that because I was very deficient. So just another reason that I need to move to Florida. At least six months out of the year, anyway. I'm actually not on until next Wednesday, so that's good. It'll give the chance for the medication to work and or this flare-up to die down. This is ridiculous. Somebody has to bring me some Depends. I'll just piss in those and somebody can bring me some snacks and water. to go for an appointment for acupuncture uh, amongst the many things that I've made appointments for to help see what's wrong with Denise because I still don't know what's wrong with me um, so my friend Debbie is going to come and pick me up and we are going to go to her acupuncture person Issues walking, lots of pain. 
So we're going to another doctor to try to figure out what's wrong with Denise. feeling too comfortable or confident with the fact that he basically says like it's my pelvic and something being out of a line and I get that and that's fine and he wants me to wear special shoes and orthotics and do therapy well for one if you know I'm in so much pain and I'm bedridden and you're making me wait until um, March something just doesn't seem right I mean I just don't get it disappointing. I wanted fast results. I wanted to get rid of this issue. Get rid of the pain. I think I need a second opinion is what I've decided. I'm not I'm not comfortable with his decision. I'm not at all. It just doesn't feel right. I can't can't keep doing this. This absolutely bites. It hurts so much. I'm afraid. Oh. Now it feels hot. It feels hot. Now it's feeling hot. Mm -hmm.